Hey Brawlers, we're back with another opening, and today we're going to be opening up the Bakugan Armored Alliance 3 packs. I do have two, uh, Ventus Drago and Pyrus Halcor Ultras, and um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, this is in my car, by the way, so uh, yeah, it's not going to be the best, but guess what? We are the best, so does that make it the best? Question mark. Okay. Oh, I forgot new packaging, so there's a new way to open it. Either way, I'm still going to use a bunch of force, and hopefully I don't damage anything. Wow, this tape is on here really tight. Ugh. Oh, I failed. Sad day. Uh, uh, the three packs, I believe, aren't targets, and so are the five packs. And the ultras, the singles, with uh, Baco Gear are in Walmarts. Correct me if I'm wrong if you found those at Target, but from what I've been seeing, it's only been like that. Okay, um, this packaging is very difficult, by the way, to open. Sad day. Hopefully none of the Bachman are actually, like, tied down either, because if so, I'm going to struggle. It's funny we got these before. Age of Arliss packs, what everyone was afraid of. Actually, what's going to be worse is what if Armored Alliance, uh, or Armored Elite, right? The name of the set. Uh, the fourth set comes out before Age of Arliss in some areas. I know some areas have gotten Age of Arliss, but as of now, it's exclusive to only some areas. So, as of now, it's not out everywhere. But I will laugh once the other set gets found, which, if I had to take a guess, the set will probably drop around the time Wave 2, I'm guessing Wave 2 of this series comes out, which will probably be um, Enoch and all those other ones that are new. But um, right now, he's tied down, guys. I might not be able to get him open. I am very... You know, we're we're going to make this open. All right. We're going we're gonna to use the key of power. I don't care if I damage the box gun. I kind of do, but come on. There we go. That worked out nicely. That Ventus Draggy Ultra. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of trash to clean out because this packaging's probably not so, uh, eh, probably just as much as before. Hey, where are the Baku core? Oh, I almost threw the Baku cores away. They're, they just fell out. They're not like sealed how they usually are. I guess we'll check over the cores first. Keep knocking everything over. Uh, we got. A 2 plus 400, a Chaos Ventus, and Aquas Ventus. So we've seen these before. So I guess you might as well just play the old ones because if they see these, they're going to... Actually, no, it's best to use these because then you can bait them out thinking it's the... the people are playing the gear reduction ones. So possibly bait um, uh, potential. This is a plus 100, a Pyro... Okay, I think we've seen these before. Nothing. The Baku Gear ones yet. A plus 300, new one. Okay. Again. Minus 100, no Baku Gear ones. I guess those only come with the Baku Gear Baku Gun. They didn't come with any of these. I could be wrong. It might just be this uh, one pack, potentially. I'm going to try to close Ventus Drago without looking at the instructions, because he looks pretty dang easy, actually. Or, what the is this? Oh, okay. This tail's interesting now. It closes roughly the same way as the original. That's, that's okay. Not bad. Uh, let me just get some trash thrown in the baggie. I'm sorry. I don't want everything to fly everywhere. Ooh, I did not think this through, by the way, because I don't have anything to hold the box again, and I have to leave the cards inside a, a hot car, so that's going to be absolutely fun. I don't think we need to read that. Ooh, wait, is this a checklist, though, the other one? Let's see. All righty, we can see what is wave one. Okay, we can't see all of it, because, uh, you know, I'm in the car, but I'll read it. Ramparian, okay, that's the one we never saw. Dragonoid, Enoch. Batrix, that's a oh, Batrix, that's that bat. Alcor, Hyderus, Neelius, Pegatrix, Saris, looks like kind of kind of looks like Argonoid. Gilatar, oh that looks cool. He's like a alligator crocodile, don't know. Uh Tratorus, Trox, and these were all the ultras. So the cores are Auxilitar. Oh what no ultra auxilitar? I'm sad. I saw his artwork and I really like this card. That guy, the gold one. Uh Centipod, Dragonoid, Halcor Core. That one's fun. Cycloid. Hyderus, Simoga, Simo's Bakugan, Nelius, Feral, does not come ultra either, unfortunately. Trox is still a chunky boy, and so is Pegatrix. So that's, that's okay. That's actually not that bad from what I'm seeing. I'm going to keep one of those in hand, so I don't forget. Here is the Gate Trainer card. We do get a Winton Styles. Okay, that's pretty cool. Just a whole magnetic card. Uh... I don't know how collectible these will be in terms of, like, you know, just cards in general. But, uh, I might just gotta catch them all. Alright, Pyru Cannon, 
Two costs, a one for two. I'm putting that in a deck. I wanted this one. Baku Mortar, five for three, six. Dark Daggers, four for two, five. And the character cards, I do love the stamp now. Everyone loves that. Okay, the Ultra's way better. Not only is it basically swapped the other way with the 100 more B, but it has the same force. So this is probably a bad Baku gun. Unless the Evo's better. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't seen the Evo yet. Uh, shield Drain. Trox, 110. He's uh, like Chaos Indius, except Chaos Indius is double shield. So I guess... It goes either or, but this has access to Midas Indias and stuff, so that's amazing. And Dragonoid Ultra Vents is 6-5 Double Shield. I believe the original Ventus Dragon Ultra is a 6-2 with a blue-red. Okay, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I cannot roll out the Buck Gun in the car. I could probably do some magical like work, though, but let's just check them out. So that is the Pyrus Trucks Core. Still a chunky chunk boy. Does he have any manual parts? Yes, he does. He, oh, look, he's got slightly uglier arms. I, I'm not pulling that out. Those are tiny. But yeah, bark. All right, next one is the Hyderus, which still looks like... Eh, it's all right. I mean, it doesn't look like a sea lion no more like the original did. His head actually sticks out a bit more, and it just flows more with this mane, I guess. Not bad, but of course, the reason why we bought it, Ventus Dragon Ultra. I believe he's the Maximus, right? Or he has the... What, uh, Titan? Whatever, he's got the one with Trifecta, if I'm correct, the Zevo. So he opens up pretty nicely. Uh, does the horn manual? Or does it just come out, like, sometimes by itself? Okay, it is manual, but sometimes it can pop out all the way. And I believe his feet are manual, too. Which I will pop Dragos out, because he's Drago. Doesn't really make much of a difference. A lot of people say they prefer the, um, the new designs. I like Drago's upper half. As in the arms sticking out this way. I prefer the original with the longer legs because it feels more proportionate. But, um... Oh, wait. The wings. Okay. I love the wings more, too, on this one because they can spread out a bit, too. Nice. Uh, I prefer the old head mode, maybe, because I just really like the... I just It just looked better, maybe. I don't know. My personal preference. And the head, I don't think... It's not on another hinge where it looks up a bit more. He's kind of just staring down at you. I'm pretty sure it's just to do with designing because they had to make the Baka gear attach. I feel like Bakugir kind of takes away from their initial designs, but they still don't look that bad. Um, I know people are probably going to hate me for saying I think they're bad, but I don't think they're bad, but I know Bakugirs were meant to just cooperate to where they have to work, but they can take away from the figure the looks. But um, whatever, as long as they're OP, am I right? I want a Drago so bad, just a red one, because he's 9-2, he hits like a truck. In terms of B power, not damage. All right, there's the cards. Come on. I did not want this video to be that long. It's gonna take forever to upload. I'm actually on break, by the way. Fun fact: I'm gonna be late to work. I'm not. I'm kidding. I got a. I got a decent break. It's like an hour long. Come on. Oh yeah, put that in there. Love the gold paint on the Arliss. And where's my key? You gotta get Halcor out of his little the tie, the little thing. Got it. Halcor's got a ridiculously oversized tail, by the way. All right, what should we show off first? The cores, why not? We got a green fist for plus one. Seen it before. We got a plus one hundred Halcor Starkus plus three. We got a plus fifty plus one. Uh, plus 150 plus 2, good one. Um, okay, a plus 150 plus 1. I guess the ones with Bakugir only come with the Bakugir energies, or uh, core, sorry. Plus 51. Okay, these Baka cores are not at all interesting, unfortunately. But, let's check out their cards. Maybe we got some nice ones. Even though there's not that many Bakugir, so more than likely, I believe a lot of duplicates are happening. But that's okay, so you can have them for more decks, especially if they're good ones. I really want three Scorching Swords. I feel like that has, for its low cost, it's just, just a free boost. It's, just, it's a small boost, but it's a boost. We got some Dan Kusos here uh, with Drago in the back. A nice Pyrus card. Pretty cool. Put that to the side. Pyru Cannon. That is a second one. So two for one and two. We got the Silent Spears, which is messed up, by the way. If I'm correct, it should be 7-5 and you may destroy any card in play. 
unless I don't doubt they're going to route it to work with this one, unless they consider them two different cards. If so, Mono Arliss, it just needs one more card. Assuming you're using Arliss Garin for his double Evo, he can get to 37 cards in the deck. Oh, no. 39. You'd be short literally one card. Yeah. If I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong. If this is considered to be a second Arliss card, unless they're just going to say this counts as the other one or the other one counts as this stats. Oh, cool. Scorching Sword. Yay. Two, one per one. It's basically just like the Lightning Hero. Oh, you get Shadow Strike too. I lied. It's way better. All right. We do have a Darkest Page. Uh, pa pa I can't talk. Pegatrix. Three, four. Uh, Greenfish Shield. Eh. Pretty bad. We got the Calcor for double green and 5-5. Five, five. Okay, that's better. That's way better. I mean, his old ones were bad. Except except the original red if you played Fury. But if you play Fury, you're basically a bad player. Just kidding. 4-2 uh, double green. Okay, this one seems a bit weak, but I have a feeling he has a good Evo. I think he does. But uh, let's get those figures checked out real quick. Let's get that magnetic card. Here's the little draggy boy. Where is your thing? Oh. Okay. Drago core is not a chunk no more and he's a bit bigger love the silver his arms are molded on no manual parts by the looks of it but that gold look at that shiny oh he does have a horn Ooh, me like shiny okay not bad i don't think he has any more manual parts but uh yeah that's mostly just for the buckle gear and all the other fun stuff so let's put him off into the little pit hole right there of our cup holder and what's this again? This is the Darkest Pegatrix core. Um, is the horn move? No. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's actually, I feel like the cores got better while the ultras feel like they suffer. That's just my personal opinion, and though. So, uh, yeah, the cores feel like ultras, and the ultras feel like crappy ultras. <laughs> all right. Oh, I got a Cole's How core. Oh, no. Wow. He actually looks really. I like that all the heads are individual. He does have feet manually. So, okay. This looks like it shouldn't close, but I think it does. Okay. Okay, that is a lot easier than I expected. Okay, so he catches it like that. And he does have these. Bark. Looks better than the original. <laughs> The original was too flimsy. The chaos one always broke. I guess if we just leave this down, that looks way better. Heads are okay. Just don't look at that side of it. It's not, it's not painted on this side or just there's no mold. It's just an empty head. But the middle head looks fine. Oh, either way, you're gonna look at it like this. So again, sorry for this not being the best video in the world, but I gotta show you these new figures. They're not bad so far. I really like the Scorching Swords card, that's it. Uh, the cores were awful, not gonna lie. Unless you needed more 150 plus two greens and a plus 300 orange shield, then go ahead and buy this, but um, just show them real quick again. Oh, you know focus. And then, oops. Scorching Swords. Broken card and pirate cannon. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more awesome content and comment, like, subscribe for more. And um, I will be hunting for the others. I do want that golden alias ultra and everything. You're right. Everything. See you on the next one.